in hiding from him? Hello, Mr. Jones, of course not. You owe me a report. A report? The Ashdown Project. On my desk tomorrow. Yes, Mr. Jones. Of course. The Ashdown Project. That's done it. That's really done it. Now, let's see. I'll make some notes. Where the hell are they? Fix me. Think. On his desk tomorrow. Prepare to meet thy doom. No. Don't get sidetracked. The Ash Doom Project. Ash Down Project. Think. I know. Bit of the old verbal sleight of hand. Taking into consideration all the aforementioned factors as enumerated, it is perhaps not overly sanguine to predict that it will be universally perceived that in the terms of needs and future aspirations, human, economic and socio-environmental, grave doubts must inevitably be raised as to the long-term viability in all the above senses of the Ashdown project. What can I say? You like it. I think it would be fair to say that it's one of the most remarkable documents I've ever had the privilege to read. Remarkable in that it's almost totally without substance and that what there is, is unintelligible rubbish. Mind you, it looks eminently satisfactory. Well presented, neat, attractive to the eye, well set out. Introduction, body of the report, conclusion, recommendations. The crust is splendid. Where's the content? The meat in the pie. It's a dog's breakfast. Well, the facts were a little The bit facts different. which you've been unable to obtain, you've completely ignored. And you've loaded every paragraph with subjective conclusions that bear no relation to reality. Now, the style. Oh, yes, sir. The style. The style, my dear Smith, is verbose, florid, and full of unspeakable jargon. Where one sentence would have sufficed, you do sit down. You have written 16. If this were to fall into the hands of the old man. You know, he's got a thing about reports. I'd heard. He's on record as having said that bad reports, wordy, incomplete, biased, incorrect reports, can be as disastrous to an organisation as bad management. He is further on record as having said that the perpetrators of such reports should be summarily dismissed. Oh. So, rather than have you sacked, I'm going to offer you a challenge. I accept. What is it? Prepare another report on the writing of reports. In view of that, um, do you think I'm really qualified? Far from it. But I'm hoping that you'll learn something in the process. To start with, how, how would you define a report? Something I write and you tear up. I will tell you. Reports are written on a given subject to convey information and ideas, and sometimes to make recommendations. Shall I repeat that? Reports are written on a given subject in order to convey information and ideas and sometimes to make recommendations. I'll give you a piece of general advice. A good report is easy to understand, always clear, as long as it needs to be and no longer. In terms of necessary information, it must be complete. And finally, because decisions will be based on the report, it must be correct. Uh, when do you want this um, report on reports? Drop everything else for a week. One week. Thanks, but um, I'll need some help. I have no doubt you'll find it. No doubt at all.
afraid you're committing an offence, sir. I had no idea, officer. I didn't see the notice. Regrettably, sir, ignorance of the law is no excuse. I shall have to make out a report. Well, surely, officer, it's not as serious as that. A report? Did you say a report? That was the terminology I employed, sir. However, under the circumstances, perhaps... Perhaps an unofficial caution would suffice. Uh, yes, yes, but um, about reports, um, you must have to make an awful lot of reports. Oh, that's true, sir, yes. Day in and day out. Do you... Do you think you could give me a few pointers as to how you actually set about it? That sort of thing. Well, sir, I find that the uh, best way to tackle the job is in four stages. Yeah, uh, hold on, I'll just get this down. Oh, thanks. Four stages. Yes, sir. Stage one, investigation. Investigation. Yes, by that I mean ascertaining all the facts that have a bearing on the subject of the report. Stage two is planning. Stage two, planning. And you gather all the facts together and decide in which order you're going to present them. I see, and uh, stage three? Well, that's when you get it all down on paper, sir. I like to term stage three, writing. Writing. Yes, sir. Very apt, that. Thank you, sir. Uh, go on. Well, now we come to the fourth and final stage, revision. Stage four, revision. And you go over everything you've done and put right anything you might have got wrong. There you are, sir. Four stages in all. That's all, sir. Oh, thank you, officer. I'm much obliged. Oh. With the compliments of I, Division, sir. You'll find in the back of the book the names and addresses of certain people who, uh, who could assist you in your inquiries. That's very kind. Goodbye, officer. Very kind indeed. I I'll start at once. Danger, sir. Ah, yes. Investigation, planning, writing, and revision. Good. Yes, I will be a moment. Mm. Superb. Is it? Oh, yes. You know what you're looking for. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> do forgive me. We haven't come to talk about that. <laughs> oh, not exactly, no. Uh, <clears throat> actually, I was given your name by a friend. Oh, yes, I'll... Uh, our friend from I Division. Oh, uh, yes. Um, he said you might be able to help me. I should count it a privilege, my dear chap, but uh, in what way? Well, I have to write this report on the writing of reports, and I was wondering about the first stage, uh, investigation. Collecting the facts, you mean? It's the passion of my life. Couldn't have come to a better chap. How long? I'll show you how I do it. It'll be a hard work, mind you, just hard work, but uh, never mind. Does it have to be such hard work? I mean, couldn't we use one of those things? Oh, out of the question, my dear fellow. We're looking for specific facts in a specific area. No point in just scooping up lorry loads of muck at random in the hope that something interesting might emerge. I see. So where and how you investigate must be determined by the purpose of the operation. Exactly. Never lose sight of your purpose. In fact, dear boy, it's worth writing it down in one sentence before you start. What a good idea. Write down the purpose of the report in one sentence. Clarifies their own mind, you know. Keeps you on track. And then? Scrape around. Dig. Uncover. Get the facts. But purposefully. Always purposefully. Oh. Here's something. 
the relevant facts, Smith. Ah, superb. Is it? Oh, yes. If you know what you're looking for. <laughs> you're learning faster, boy. <laughs> Time for a glass of Amontillado. I should have kept you at it. Made you dig deeper. Sift every grain of earth. Leave no stone unturned? Well, I'd have phrased it more originally, but uh, yes, that's the sense of it. it. Must be complete. It must be complete. The relevant facts uncovered. It must be accurate. And then? Uh, then I suggest you refer to the next name on the excellent constable's list. Date for. Yes. Thank you, Sidigby. Goodbye. Goodbye. Write down the purpose of the report in one sentence. <coughs> Uncover all relevant facts. Did you ever see something so beautiful? It's lovely. Make a nice table lamp. Simple, elegant. Seventeen years of research and now, now I can make my report. You're lucky, my friend. A moment of history. How can I help you? You're studying chemistry? Uh, no, no, uh, reports. Ah, I remember. Hmm, reports. Uh, how do you plan your report? I expect you're wanting to know how I shall plan my report. I will tell you. There's method, order, logic. Now, the structure. Of my report. First, the introduction. Then, the body of the report. Three, conclusion. And finally, recommendations. If I have any. It's interesting. I use the same kind of structure myself. Uh, but how are you actually planned within the body of the report itself? I mean, after 17 years, you must have a mass of material. Well, as you'll realize, after 17 years, I have a mass of material. And this is the reason. I have to select. But on what basis do you select? You're about to ask me on what basis do I select. I select on the basis both of the purpose of my report, what it is to achieve, and the people to whom it is directed. And I have to decide what, to, what the people already know and what they need to know. Perhaps you could give me an example. No, no, no. It's better if I give you an example. Everyone for whom the report is intended knows my work. Eh? Therefore, there is no need to describe the program. Hmm? Merely the result. Now, uh, this statistics belong to this graph. Hmm? 
I see. So you collect all your information together and then you decide what's important, decide what isn't important, and then just organize it under different sections. You'll notice that I collect all my information together and then I... <laughs> That's right. That is what I do, precisely. And then? Well, and then I give each section a separate heading, one that indicates what that section is about. Your headings will be different from mine, of course. Commerce, industry, that's where you're from, isn't it? Why don't you give me one or two headings? Well, there's uh, production. Production. Sales. Sales. Market research. Market research. Oh, and uh, product development. Product development. So, four headings. Four sections of information. You would probably have more, but these will serve. Now, you stand back. And look for a shape. A logical progression. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. One, market research, leading to two, product development, leading to three, production, and finally, four, sales. And, of course, there must be a logical pro... There must be a logical progression within each section as well, mustn't there? There must be a logical progression within each section. And within the body of the report as a whole. Shape. No? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Professor. Goodbye. You've been a great help. Logical progression. Select, organize, shape. Writing reports. Yes, sir. Writing reports. Yeah. You've done your investigation, right? Yes, I've done the planning and I've come up with a really good shape. Yes. Now, what have we got? Something like this. Here's a typical example. Facts, figures, diagrams, photographs. Your material, in fact. Bricks, if you like. Stacked up, ready to use. But dull. Lifeless. Yes, that's exactly it. So, you take up your pen or you... Typewriter, and you cement them together with words. Yes, but which words? Simple words, put together in short sentences. Language that communicates. Don't get your semantic knickers in a twist. Write it for the people you know are going to read it. Peter! Simple but interesting. Sharp, worth reading. Right, those to Mr. Brown right away. Thank you. Now, let's talk about layout. Look at this. Plenty of space. Don't cramp it all up so that it gives you a headache to look at, never mind to read it. Now, let's start with the headline. Title to you. It tells you, in a very few words, what the article is about. Grabs your interest. I see. The opening paragraph extends and expands the headline. Now, the article itself. Short powers, crisp, readable. 
divided into subsections, each with its own aspect of the problem, and each with its subheading to tell you what it's about. And the content, the meat in the pie? Facts. Clearly stated. Quotes attributed, sources laid on the line. Objective, but unbiased. But the article must have a point of view, surely. Ah, I was just coming to that. The facts analysed and interpreted, conclusions drawn. Writer's privileged to draw his own conclusions, but facts must be given straight. Fact is sacred, comment is free, isn't that the Fleet Street saying? Something like that. Not very often observed, but uh, it's good in principle. And um, illustration. <laughs> a good picture's worth a thousand words, eh? Another same. Invented by a photographer, but it's true all the same. A good picture, Mike. But it must be integrated. Give it a caption that explains it. Refer to it in the text. Right. Well, go ahead and write it, young chap. But remember, communicate clearly with language and layer. Simple but strong, so that you get all the information from inside your head into the reader. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a newspaper to publish. Yes, and uh, I've got a report to write. Give that to young Peter on the way out. Oh, yes, and, and thank you. Thank you very much. Don't do it, sir. Don't jump, sir. Don't drown yourself, sir. I wasn't going to jump, you great... Oh, hello. It's you. Anyway, I'd have broke my neck, the tide's out. Well, I'm very gratified to know that you weren't contemplating doing away with yourself, sir. Knowing the strain you've been under. Oh, that? It's as good as over. It's all written. I was just having a bit of a breather. Ah, just stage four. Revision to do, is it? That's right. I hope you know the regulations, sir. Regulations? Yes, sir. Down at the yard, we call it the rule of the four C's. Four C's? That's right, sir. A report at all stages and in every way must be clear, concise, complete and correct. Uh, by clear, you mean being able to be understood at a first reading? That's right, sir. Concise? All information is down to an intelligent and intelligible minimum. Complete? Every piece of essential information has been included. And correct. All information is accurate and verifiable. Oh, I hope I've been of some little assistance to you, sir. Oh, yes, indeed. Good day, officer. Good day to you, sir. Ah, yes. The four C's. Clear, concise, complete, correct. Oh. In time, you could be drafting reports for the chairman. Men have gone through hell for less. Mm, possibly. What do you think? In all modesty, I... I think it's brilliant. I know it's definitive. Except for one thing. What's that? There's no synopsis. No brief summary of the content. Just wanted to make sure you read the whole thing. People have been known to read only the synopsis. There are four stages involved in the production of a report. One, investigation, in which the purpose of the report is clearly defined and in which, guided by this, all necessary and relevant information is collected. Two, planning, in which the information is A, selected according to who is going to read it, B, sorted into sections and given headings, C, arranged in a logical progression. It's the directness I like. Three, writing, in which all information and ideas are made clear and comprehensible. Four, revision, in which, prior to final typing, a thorough and relentless check is made of the first draft of the report. Finally, and in all the above stages, every effort should be made to ensure that the report is clear, concise, and correct. Well, I think that what we have achieved is eminently suitable. Suitable? Suitable for what? For them. I think they should be told. 
Good Lord. What? Uh, all of them? Why not? Very important people. Always writing reports. Yes, well, um... Quite simple, really. Um, it is recommended that all those who have to write reports should study this report on the writing of reports. That's all, really. I think you'll find it quite useful. <laughs>